Hello everyone. This is a video where I want to talk about the basics of C++. This is intended primarily for my data abstraction class. However, anyone out there in YouTube land can watch it. So C++ is, well, it was originally created as a superset of C. It has evolved some and there are now parts of C that you cannot do in C++, but for the most part it remains a superset of the language. One of the things that allows is the fact that you can create freestanding functions in C++. And indeed, when we write a program, one of the things that we're going to do is start off by writing a freestanding function. We're going to write a main, just like we would in C. So I'm going to create a hello world.cpp. And because I want to do input and output, I need to have a pound include statement. I'm going to include iostream, which is the library that has the general input and output streaming. And then I'm going to write my main. It's going to return an int main. I could put a void here, but I'm actually going to put in the proper arguments. So we get the count for the number of arguments and then an array of strings for the arguments themselves. That could be passed in as a care star star or the care star brackets. And then I just want to print something out. And let's go ahead and we'll put the backslash in right there. Because it says it's going to return an int, I will make sure to return it. This C out here is the thing that's declared inside of IO stream. It stands for your standard output stream. And in C++, because you can do operator overloading, which we'll talk about in a later video, this less than less than, which normally means bit shifting, here means to send something into a stream, and so it's used as our output operation. So I have this as a program, and I want to compile it. Now my students will wind up spending most of the semester working in Visual Studio under Windows. Uh, I personally prefer Linux for most things, and in this case, I think that going to Windows hides some of what's going on, and those are things that I want to make explicit here. So I am compiling the command. I'm using the GNU compilers is G++. Turns out if you use GCC, you'll get some very weird error messages. I've had some students do that. I've even done it myself. And it often takes me a while to figure out what I messed up uh, when I do that. So I will go ahead and compile this. Oh, and we get some errors. So the code that I've written over here would have been perfectly happy C++ in previous iterations of C++, but they've gotten more strict about things like namespaces, and this is a good change for the language. It says it doesn't know what Cout is, and that's because Cout is part of a namespace called STD. Pretty much everything in the standard libraries is in the STD for standard namespace. If I were going to print lots of things, I wouldn't want to have to type std colon colon cout all the time. I can save myself from doing that by putting in a using statement. That will also work quite nicely. It is possible to import everything or to put a using for everything. Name space std. I highly discourage this, and the reason I discourage it is because, as I already mentioned, everything in the standard libraries pretty much is in this std namespace. That was a bad choice by the creators of the libraries. Because they didn't split it up, if you import or if you put that using statement, you basically dump everything from the standard libraries into your global namespace, and kind of the whole point of having a namespace is just defeated because you will be more likely to have naming collisions. So I prefer this syntax where you give a using statement for each of the elements that you're actually using in your code. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video 
here. Uh, we've managed to, well, I guess I should actually run it because I didn't tell it to compile to anything else. I got an a.out file and I can run it and it says hello world. There are other operations for, or other uh, arguments for this. If I wanted it to go to a command called hello, I can now run hello instead. You should actually look at the man pages or at the your help pages to see what all types of flags you can give to your compiler. There are lots of them and some of them can be very significant for you. We'll come in uh, in the next video and we'll look at how you can have your source code spread across multiple different files.